This video is about Playwright MCP server. I am going to demonstrate how we can install the Playwright MCP server in Visual Studio Code. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. An MCP server or a Model Context Protocol server is a program which acts as a bridge allowing artificial intelligence models to access and interact with external data sources, websites, databases and tools in a structured and standardized way. The benefit of using Playwright MCP is that it enables AI models like ChatGPT to interact with your web pages and perform browser automation tasks in real browser environment, streamlining test creation and test execution. We can use the Playwright MCP through AI tools like GitHub Copilot or Cloud Code. The AI will have access to our source code, code base, and if we have any config files or page object models, AI will use GitHub Copilot to generate code according to our existing framework in combination. So we need to have installed VL Studio code and we also need to have a GitHub account. And we need to have installed GitHub Copilot on our computer in the VL Studio code as well. Steps for installing the MCP server are first of all, open the extensions tab in Visual Studio code. You will be able to see the MCP servers section down below. Click browse MCP servers. When you will click browse MCP servers, it will open the github.com and the MCP registry where you can search for an MCP server. I have already logged into github.com here and you see there are many servers available. Search for playwright and click the install button. Open Visual Studio code and once the Visual Studio code is open, you will have to click the install button over here as well. The installation was very quick. Once I've done this, I can simply write a scenario related to my website uh, in the GitHub Copilot as a prompt and, and the AI is going to generate a proper Playwright test automation script for me. I have created a scenario over here for you. The steps of the scenario and the scenario name are written clearly. The steps include opening the home page and opening the QA form menu item and then providing input in the model pop up that is going to show up. The important thing is that we are specifying here that do the needful to perform all operations on web elements present in the model within the model. And then there are some set operations inputs and uh, finally we click OK and then we tell it to assert that the form was submitted. So I'm going to simply copy all of this prompt text from here and I will take it to the chat GPT. Sorry, I'm going to take it to Visual Studio code. I will open Visual Studio and I am going to paste the prompt which we copied over here. This prompt represents the steps of our UI test. The scenario name is there, the steps are there. And please note that this and much more is being taught in my Udemy course about Playwright test automation with AI. Do check the link given in description to see the course and uh, enroll it and get a discount on it. So now I'm going to click the play button and AI is going to do its magic. All right. So now it says that now let us run the test to see if it works correctly. First of all, one file has been changed. As you can see, a new file has been added over here. It is qa-form.spec.ts. And over here, you can see that uh, AI perform multiple steps. For example, it is reading some files and it is uh, also checking the configuration, so on and so on. And then 
finally it is generating a command to basically run the test first of all we need to click the keep button over here so that the test gets saved to our code base and now i'm going to click the allow button here you can see that multiple operations were performed and something went wrong and the test did not go as planned so clearly ai made a mistake here let us check the test report over here and it says something like waiting for locator this and it was unable to fill something okay why did this happen let us click this copy prompt button over here and take it to our ai friend i like to take it to gemini although we also have codex let us not go to gemini in fact i have codex codex chat gpt codex plugin installed over here i am going to paste my prompt over here and see what the results will be please note that if you are using the free version of chat gpt or gemini this prompt might be a little too long for it and i am working to solve this problem by deploying my own artificial intelligence or connecting or creating a solution which could connect to open router or or other low cost models for you so anyhow it has provided us a solution it says that the chained locator resolves to two nodes so play night strict mode there is a problem in that so what is the solution it says optionally scope it instead of broad chain all right so where do we have to do it name field is being basically okay so this name field over here is being still search from page dot locator ideally speaking it should have been search with something differently so let us paste the code which we copied from there to here okay i will save and let me run again over here in test reports we can see that there is an error when the playwright tries to fill the value of company field this is again happening because the automation mcp server github copilot whoever is the real responsible uh, culprit here is still using the page dot locator whereas it should have been using something else which is the qa form model so if qa form model will be used here everything is going to go smoothly i suppose so let me come here and instead of page dot get by role let us copy paste the qa form model over here and run my test one more time all right we filled a lot of values something is not good with the success message to be visible why is it happening let us copy prompt once again and let us ask our friend codex one more time so playwright is telling us an a reason over here it is in the success validation and success validation is being performed over here and it says that we can use it like this so i am just going to replace this text over here i will save and i will run the test again by the way if we do this in debug mode we will not have to like run the tests again and again but now that we are through the video so maybe we can do another video <laughs> voila finally our test has passed so this is how you install mcp server in vl studio code and this is how you use it with playwright 
to generate your own uh, test automation script from plain text you see there was some hit and try and this is the current state of the artificial intelligence models the gen ai is not 100 percent perfect so you still need human testers you still need human keywords and if you want to learn all of this please join my course in by following the url which is given in the description it is playwright.testautomationtv.com if you like this video smash the like button and hit the subscribe button and share this video with your community friends and see you in another video soon bye